Hi, I'm Chuck. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will install a Kali Linux VM in a virtual box on my MacBook. We are going to use a VBox and VDI files for the installation. This is one of multiple ways of installing Kali Linux VM, but it's the fastest and easiest way to do it. As you may already know, Kali comes preloaded with many security tools for ethical hacking and digital forensics. After installing Kali, the next goal is to use Kali VM to carry out some ethical hacking demos in some subsequent videos. Depending on the tools you plan to run on your Kali Linux VM, the minimum systems requirements and other items we need for the installation are displayed on the screen. We need to have installed VirtualBox on the MacBook in order to install Kali Linux VM on the VirtualBox. In case you haven't installed VirtualBox, I have another video for installation of VirtualBox on MacBook. Check it out if you need to. I will add a link to the description section. Before we dive right in, please take a moment to subscribe, like and share this video. Let's get started. I will pull up my browser and go to Kali.org. On the home page, click on the download link to go to the download page. There are multiple options here, but we are interested in virtual machines. So I will click on virtual machines. I am using a 64-bit device, so let's stay on the 64-bit tab and then click on virtual box to download the image. It's a zip file. Let's wait for the download to complete. The zip file is now fully downloaded. So I will minimize the browser and navigate to the location where Kali file was downloaded to and double click on this .7z file to extract its content. Let's give it a moment to complete the extraction. Once done, you will see two files in the extracted folder .vbox and .vdi files. We need to add the VDI file to VirtualBox using VBox file. I will show you how to do it. So, I will launch my VirtualBox. Like I mentioned earlier, if you haven't installed VirtualBox, follow the link in the description to install VirtualBox hypervisor and then return here. To install Kali Linux VM, I will click on the Tools section of the VirtualBox Manager on the top left corner and then click the Add button. I will navigate to the MacBook location where the VBox and VDI files were extracted to. For me, they are in the download folder. I will click on the VBox file and then click Open. This is our new Kali Linux VM. If you click on the new VM on the left pane, you will see the details about the newly installed Kali Linux VM, including the pre-configured username and password. On this page, you can click on any field of your choice and change the value. For example, I'll click on General and make the name shorter and click OK to save the change. The Kali Linux VM is now ready to be powered on. Again, I will make sure that the newly installed Kali Linux VM is selected on the left pane and I will click on the Start button. Kali VM is booting up. I will minimize the virtual box and adjust this. We are at the login screen. The default username is Kali and default password is Kali, all lowercase. So I will log in using Kali, Kali. We are in. The installation looks good. I'll click here to go full screen. I'll select switch. If I go to Kali menu on the top left corner, you can see a lot of ethical hacking and digital forensic tools that are pre-installed on the system, starting with information gathering. For example, you can see Nmap on the list. I'll perform a few checks to make sure that the Kali Linux VM is properly connected to the network. I'll click on terminal up here and expand the window a little bit. I'll use Ctrl, Shift and plus sign key combination to zoom in. On the terminal window, you can see the host name of the VM is Kali and the username is also Kali. Let's check the IP address of the VM by issuing ifconfig command. I will press enter. 
You can see that the IP automatically assigned to the network interface of the new Kali Linux VM is 10.0.2.15. You can as well use IP address command to get the same information. You can see the same IP here, 10.0.2.15. I will clear the screen. Let's verify internet connectivity by pinging google.com. Sure enough, it's responding. I will use Ctrl C to stop the ping. We can as well use Firefox to verify internet connectivity. I will click on Firefox icon at the top. Let's browse to google.com. This also verifies internet connectivity. I will close the window and also close the terminal. So, the Kali Linux VM is now ready for use. We will perform some ethical hacking demos in some subsequent videos. But before then, click on the top right corner of the screen or follow the link in the description to see the first few things you need to do right after installing Kali Linux VM to make it more secure and easier to use. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and click the like button. Also, press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the comment section below.